just driving. Um, I figured I would do some more car talk. Um, the last video I had posted, um, if you read the description, said that, you know, a lot had gone on between that video and today. And that I would keep you updated. So, I want to keep you guys updated on what has happened, what's been going on, you know, why I haven't really been posting, I guess, or uploading videos as much. Um, a few months ago, well, a couple months ago, it wasn't that long ago, my grandmother um, had told me she had um, cancer, um, and it was pancreatic cancer, and that was really, really difficult for me and I was trying to um, you know support her and help her and be there for her as much as I could be she went through uh, a round of chemo and um, it just was making her so sick and she decided to stop the chemo um, it was just making her really sick it wasn't even helping and so from the time she stopped the chemo, it took about, I'd say two weeks before she passed away. Uh, and that was extremely hard on me. Um, I was there. Uh, I just, I had a feeling that day. I went over there and she, she just was, she was, you know, on morphine. So she was sleeping like, in our hospice bed and um, she she was mumbling a little bit so like it sounded like she was talking to someone and um, you know I was just there and, and rubbing her hair and she opened her eyes and she looked at me and my aunt and she tried to talk but she, she couldn't really talk um, and my aunt said it's okay you know we know we love you it's okay it's all right you can, you can go and I saw her take her last breath now I mean it was really hard it was probably one of the worst hardest things I've ever had to go through and a lot of people say you know it's a blessing that I got to be there like and that she saw me and I got to be there when she, when she, you know, turned into an angel. And it is, but it's also very hard because with a memory like that, that kind of memory in your head, it's also um, so sad. It's just one of the saddest memories that'll always be there. But I'm glad she got to look at me before she went. She got to see that I was there. So that that's what's been going on. Um, so I've been, you know, grieving and trying to, I mean, it's been maybe a week and a half, two weeks since she passed. I don't know. Time is all jumbled up for me now. Like, everything's all jumbled. I never, I can't keep track of what day it is. And... But it's just been so hard because I cry every day, I cry every night, and I know she's, I know she's around, and, you know, I know, I know she, she, she came to see me, um, I had, I had blown up a bunch of balloons for Tom's, uh, birthday, and a lot of them I put helium in, and I, one night I was just sitting on the couch, and, um, one of the balloons just kind of got yanked down from the ceiling you know what I mean it wasn't like it didn't look gradual or like it just naturally started losing it just got yanked down so it was like what I was like grandma is that you I said if that's you bring that balloon over here and, and bomb me on the nose and I kid you not that balloon hovered over to me and hit me on the nose and and that was amazing that was amazing um I used my, my spirit box, my, I used my Oculus and tried to communicate, see if I could communicate with her and um, 
you know, I got a lot of words like uh, bridge, uh, I got aqua, I got peaceful. You know what I mean? I think she was coming through telling me she was at peace. Um, but, you know, that's what I believe. I mean, you may not believe in that sort of thing. I mean, but you guys all know I do. Um, so, yeah, it's been difficult. Um, I'm trying to support my grandpa as much as I can. I mean, 57 years they were together, um, and now he, he's all alone. But, um, you know, he's having a really hard time, and I don't want to just bum rush over there every day and just be like, Hey, Grandpa, what are you doing? You need anything? You know what I mean? I want to give him his space and his time. But it's been a little longer, a little bit longer than I had thought that he, because, I, I mean, I think, I don't want to just pop in there, like, but, I, you know, I, I message him every day, make sure he's okay, he's doing okay, he asks him if he needs anything, does he need any help around the house? You know, I'm just giving him his space. Um, so that's why, you know, I haven't, I haven't been uploading. I actually have a really funny, um, awesome Halloween video to upload when I'm trick-or-treating with the kids, um, which was my birthday. I turned 35, uh, and um, so I have to upload that video too they're dancing because every year we go trick-or-treating then we go to like this little party for kids like with the DJ and the kids all dance and it's really fun so I have like that I have to upload that that was fun um, whoa what was that sound it sounded like something popped I hope it wasn't my tire that was weird um so, uh, yeah, like, uh, and then, of course, November 1st came around, and that was the anniversary, eight-year anniversary of my Gigi's passing, so that day wasn't the best days either, because even though it's been eight years with Gigi, I still feel like it's still raw, you know what I mean? Because with my family, I love my family so with everything I have, my family, I love them with my, my entire heart. Each and every one gets love. Hang on, I'm gonna pass out this guy and not get hit. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I love everybody to the fullest. I love everybody with all my heart and I just, you know, I, I take it really, really hard, really hard when someone passes and it takes me an extremely long time to be okay. I mean, today I'm okay at the moment. Um, I can actually talk about it without breaking down, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't even talk about it before without breaking down and bawling my eyes out. So, hang on, I gotta turn the heat down, it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here, take off all my clothes. Um, so it's okay today. I mean, I don't know, I mean, how I'm gonna be, I ha I'm going to counseling and I'm gonna have to talk about it there, so. I mean, I probably, I'm gonna try not, I don't like crying in front of people. I really don't like crying in front of people, so I'm gonna try not to, but, you know, if I do, I do. I mean, it's just, what happens, so. Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, fill you in, um, you know, I told you I would, and, you know, I told you I'd fill you in, and I, I keep my promise, so. Oh, I think that was my grandpa that just drove by me. Oh, I think, oh my god, we're uh, just talking about him. It's so, so funny. Um, so, I'm gonna go here, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later, and I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed, hit that little red button. Uh, thumbs up. And, you know, comment. You know, comment anything. If you have a question, a comment, uh, a suggestion, anything. I mean, any comment is welcome. So, as long as it's not negative. I don't like negativity, but nobody does. So, um, I will talk to you guys uh, later.